Musk officially has taken over Twitter. $44 billion acquisition of Twitter has been formally completed and CEO Parag Agarwal has departed. Image captures Elon Musk at the Twitter headquarters. My colleague Pallavi for more details on this. Pallavi. Well, I think the change which everyone was anticipating and after much heart burn, uh, whether it's going to happen or not happen, has finally taken place. So I think this is as formal as it can get. We already saw pictures yesterday which were out on the social media showing Elon Musk uh, going inside the Twitter headquarters, thereby giving the messaging that he's very much taken over charge. Well, today the top three have been asked to leave and they've left inside the Twitter headquarters. Parag Agarwal, who recently had taken over as the CEO of Twitter, has also left. So it makes it very clear that now Elon Musk is going to call the shots. He's also going to get his own uh, team in place. His challenges, first of all, will be to ensure that, you know, the kind of business downturn Twitter would see at times, the criticism of Twitter of being, uh, you know, the kind of partisan, all of that is something which he's going to be having to deal with. Pallavi, can we expect some major changes to the social media platform now that uh, Elon Musk has taken over? See, there were two biggest criticisms which were coming on Twitter. One was a lack of trans fluctuating followers. And in fact, there was this allegation that there were a large number of bots who were not being controlled and therefore they were perceived to be followers and there were some who were actually buying those followers. And how genuine were they? That, I think, the two problems Elon Musk has been very, very clear about right from the beginning. He is going to be his priority to address that. And also, of course, to make it an even more of a profitable venture in the face of competition is facing from other social media platforms. And Pallavi, why did uh, he remove Parag Agarwal and Vijay Gadai from the top posts? Well, I mean, they were the ones who were in the earlier management. And if you remember, when this whole negotiations and falling down of negotiations are happening, uh, Elon Musk was accusing Parag Agarwal and his team of actually, uh, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, spoiling the entire game. And uh, in the midst of all this, when it became clear again that Elon Musk is not going to be buying in and the deal had fallen through, Parag Arwal actually had met up with his team of Twitter at that point of time and also explained to them that he had certain ideas and objectives with which he had joined Twitter. And Elon Musk's team and ideas would not be in sync with that. It would have been very difficult with two people with different ideologies, different objectives, who clearly were not going along uh, to work together in a new Twitter space. So I think this was something which was expected. Elon Musk will bring in his own team because he's going to bring in his own objectives for the company as well. So Elon Musk had uh, levied these charges that uh, there were bot accounts, there were numerous bot accounts uh, on Twitter. Uh, so uh, was this proven? Like, uh, did he prove some, uh, give some evidence that this was true? Well, he used to tweet. He used to come out with statements. And this was something which was a mounting criticism also by many of the Twitter users, many of political parties across the globe also, who felt that, you know, there was this partisan treatment. There was a selective treatment, preferential treatment. Uh, some people were clearly favorites. And therefore, Twitter was no longer the fair space it was expected to be. I think Elon Musk made it very clear, uh, categorically, he's going to ensure that this social media platform is actually a level playing field for everyone. I think it will be interesting now also to watch really in America whether there is going to be a return of the Donald Trump account because this is something which Trump and his supporters had also accused Twitter of, of laying favorites. And just because he was out of power, his account had been suspended. Why was this kind of a selective outrage? I would watch out for that space as well that there is a, there is a possibility of Donald Trump now returning to Twitter. Right, Pallavi. Thank you so much for giving us those details.